Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Shelly's Millions. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that is concerning me that I read in one of the recent California EDD news releases. And that information is that they requested PUA proof of employment, PUA proof of self-employment, PUA proof of work documents from over 1.4 million PUA unemployment claims. And so far, only about one in five people have responded to their request to upload those documents. That means that over one million of you still have not submitted your PUA proof of work to the California EDD. And I want to encourage everybody to please go ahead. If you haven't logged on to your unemployment claim in a while, now's a really good time to do it. The 1099 G's that are going to be used for your tax returns, those are online now. And even some regular unemployment claimants were briefly placed on PUA. So please check your UI online account and see if they are requesting information from you. The California EDD has said that they are going to send out physical letters to those PUA claimants who have not yet submitted their proof of work, but I just really wanna encourage everyone to get that done get the EDD what they need before the deadline, and that's gonna be a little bit different for each person. But the reason why I wanna make sure that you get those documents uploaded is because I don't want you guys to get an overpayment notice. I'm thinking that maybe the reason why so many people haven't uploaded their documents yet or they're having trouble figuring out what exactly the EDD needs. Some of you worked for employers and the business is completely closed down now. Some of you were just beginning your businesses and you don't have a lot of proof like tax returns to submit to the EDD. I do have a really great video that walks you guys through how to write an affidavit yourself. And even though it would be better if you had tax returns or something like that to submit as your proof of employment, if you don't have that kind of information to send to them, sending in the affidavit is going to be better than sending nothing at all. Guys, let me know what else I can do to help you make sure that you get your documents into the EDD so that you don't get that overpayment notice. I'd really like to put all this California EDD unemployment mess behind us so that we can move forward and have a great 2022. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching Shelly's Millions. I'll see you next time.